26 of the 37 horses seized from a Gage County vet will go to Animal Rescues in Nebraska and other states. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. And I'm Rob McCartney. The rest of those horses have been bought by other bidders. And as KATV News Watch Heaven's Jessica Perez reports, it's been a long road for the horses, and new owners hope to give them good homes. As Lynn Guyton walks out of the auction office with 17 horses bought, she's exhausted. It was such a rigged auction that the general public was against me because they didn't want me to accomplish this. She believes people intentionally drove up the price of horses despite their condition. She's the director of Epona Horse Rescue, who's been caring for the horses since they were confiscated from veterinarian Jennifer Glazeman. Now, Guyton hopes to adopt them out. Each and every single one of them deserves an individual they, they deserve a home with individual attention. After a long evening of bidding, 26 horses will go to different rescues, some from out of state. Others were loaded into trailers awaiting trips to their new homes. Caitlin Davis is a horse trainer and hopes to teach her new horse barrel racing and other events. Would everyone like to say that they'd like to take a rescue horse and take it all the way to the top? Definitely. Um, do I think that's probably my goal? No, but I do know that she will be loved and I do know that she will be fed and she will have a home for the rest of her life. Davis was shocked by the price, paying $2,000 for one. She believes media coverage led to the increase in bids, but says many horses had good bloodlines. Jim Lures bought two horses at $13,000 each. Basically board them somewhere until we could find him a good home and, and dough to him. Glazeman did not face charges because the Gage County attorney believed animal abuse would be difficult to prove. And according to state statute, she could benefit from auction sales after liens and debts are paid off. Lure tells me he hopes the story doesn't end here. As a former prosecutor, he's shocked at the outcome. I'm more concerned about why this vet still has her license, and I'm definitely going to file a complaint with the Department of Health against her if I have to. Jessica Perez reporting. Now, some of the horses did still test positive for parvovirus, which was disclosed at the auction. Many of the new owners say that's not something that turned them away, and they plan to take the proper precautions.